Well, there is an odd little stone house, and the owner calls it that. It's actually the oldest commercial building in St. Paul. It was built before the Civil War, and you tell me it is making history again. Yeah, after a long renovation, it's going to reopen this fall as a saloon and German lager brewery for the first time since 1863. In a few minutes, we'll tell you how you can get a tour before they open officially. But first, here's the story of how Waldman came to be. Waldeman was built by a stonemason who did build four other limestone structures not unlike this. They're all residences. They're all connected by that common history and heritage, all built by Germans, for Germans. It was built uh, right at the height of a financial panic at the time, which makes it all the more ironic that it was built of solid limestone. Uh, essentially to last for 500 years, but that's the way Germans did things. <laughs> you know, they were typically uh, occupied by the owner as their residence in addition to being a commercial establishment. And that was true not only of saloons, but of grocery stores, hardware stores. If you were here in the 1850s enjoying a lager beer, you would have sat around a warm pot belly stove in the center of this room. And we know it sat in the center of this room because there's a distinct burn mark right underneath where the stove was. And I, I predict this will be uh, a place that will be really a gathering space. As we get the woodwork done and the windows in, this is going to be a, just a spectacular uh, space to be in. But we're now in the federally regulated brewery space. We'll have a 15-barrel brew system, four vessels where I'm standing. We'll have horizontal fermenters, three of them, two of which will be stacked sort of like bunk beds. That horizontal fermentation is critical for effective lager brewing. I told someone the other day that the greatest asset on this business's balance sheet is history. History and authenticity. And but for the authenticity of this structure, this project wouldn't be worth doing. It's now a residential neighborhood in St. Yeah. Paul, and they actually had to change the law. There's now a new law on the books in St. Paul that says a building can be used for its original purpose without having to rezone it. So it was originally a saloon, and now it will once again become a saloon. Oh, that is so neat, yeah. and I love how they're preserving it. I do, too. Yeah, that building is gorgeous. Uh, we put a link on our website to Waldman and their Kickstarter fundraiser that runs through May 20th. If you have questions for Tom or his team, mm -hmm. just want to check it out this weekend, there is a chance to tour that facility. Waldman is Hi. part of the Minneapolis-St. Paul Home tour. There are three tours of the brewery today, starting at 11, 1, and 3. Two more tours tomorrow as well. So cool there. Thank you so much, Mike.